Brought to you in living color on NBC. Appearing with Jack tonight are Alexander King, Helen O'Connell, Bill Cosby, Criswell Predix, and Jose Mellis. Here's Jack. Some of the strangest things happen in Southern California. I lived there for about nine years, and I liked it very much. But it's, um, it's Mecca for all faddists and eccentrics, cultists, strange religions. It's a real nut area. I can remember, um, I can recall the cemetery there, which actually has a big billboard which says, Foreverness, which was always a shot. <laughs> I expect to see someone with a sign someday saying, Underneathness, you know. <laughs> On Sunset Strip, I remember in my first year there, there was this mixture of signs. This, this sign was true. It said, um, um, it said, Spiritualist. Uh, judo lessons and mimeographing. I always thought that was a kind of weird combination. Well, anyhow, there's a fella out there called Criswell. Criswell predicts, and he has his own television show, and his predictions are taken quite seriously by his followers out there. And he's lots of fun to have on the show, so we, we flew him in, and here is Criswell predicts. my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives, whether you like it or not. See? You go along with that, do you? <laughs> now, let's go. Uh, well, first of all, what is your accuracy? Because I, I try to keep track of it, but I, uh, I remember one time, you remember when I was leaving The Tonight Show, you said, you, you announced as a prediction who was going to replace mm -hmm. me. Yes, I did. You were wrong. You know. I was wrong with that. But I have a prediction a little later in the program that might clear that one up. Oh, I see. Well, what? <laughs> I don't even under understand the explanation of this, dear friend. Now, what, uh, what, what is your rate of accuracy? My rate of accuracy is around 87%. Eight, that's pretty good. And because I predict through trend, precedent, pattern of habit, human behavior, and the un unalterable law of cycle. Well, there's nothing spooky about it. Nothing spooky at all. Just good nothing common sense. Good common sense. We analyze completely because you can only analyze because you remain impersonal all the time toward oh. any item or any object or any problem. All right. Well, do you want to start predicting? Yes. My first know. prediction tonight concerns Margaret Chase Smith. Now, I predict that Margaret Chase Smith, the senator from Maine, will be the first woman ever nominated for the vice presidency of the United States. And this will be on the Republican ticket, and I predict that she will run with Barry Goldwater in 1964. I further predict that Governor Pat Brown of California will be the Democratic candidate for vice president in 1964. And I predict you're going to hear from Lyndon Johnson in the morning. <laughs> I predict invisible insects in Indiana. They are tiny mites that are actually in the air. You can hardly see them at all. They come inside during the cold weather. Uh -huh. They almost infest the woodwork. They are almost like insects we have in California called termites. I see. And where, where, where are they going to come now? In the state of Indiana. Indiana, all right. And they get under the skin and they sometimes cause a fever. And it does cause a breaking out and a great discomfort and a stomach upset, too, can sometimes be caused by these invisible you insects. You did predict once bed bugs in Boston. Did that come true? <laughs> Listen, if you're going to laugh, you're not going to learn anything. I certainly did. <laughs> that was the time they tore down the entire harbor there. You were right about that. Yes. How about rattlesnakes in Phoenix? Rattlesnakes in Phoenix, that was every seven years. They never saw so many rattlesnakes yeah. in all their lives as yeah, they no, had in Phoenix. That's, that's a, now, that part's good. Vincent Price can tell you about that because he was Vincent there. Vincent Price? What is he in <laughs> Vincent Price. Mr. Price. See, he's got an authority that you go to. No, but he lived in Phoenix. <laughs> mice in Minneapolis. How'd that work out? Mice in Minneapolis, when they built the new freeway, all the mice and roaches and rats came right from the old part of town right into the new section of town, and they haven't gotten rid 
of some of them yet out in Minneapolis. Yeah, you see? Now, that, he, that's all prediction. Now, what else you got there? I predict that the new style for men's hair, men's hairstyles, will return to the George Washington look. You're, you've started already there. And I predict that the new... It's like uh, lemon meringue, doesn't it? I always... Go ahead. Uh, I also predict that the new hairsprays for men will be a spray that will actually glow in the dark. It has a phosphorus base, and it is now the rage, and will be the rage Where? very, very soon Vincent throughout Price. America. Not been surprised. <laughs> and here is a very special prediction. I predict that Khrushchev will become a father before the end of the year. You see what a little wheat will do? <laughs> Now, here's my latest prediction on the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. I predict that the Duke and Duchess of Windsor will be asked to replace Jerry Lewis in his television program within the next fortnight. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You're, you're hot, I see. <laughs> and I predict that you will outlive every doctor you know or have ever met by at least ten years. Next person I hope to meet is a young doctor then. <laughs> and as a result of space. Or a new writer. <laughs> and I predict as a result of space influence, there will be no more cans. Everything will become oh, packaged <laughs> in tubes. Oh, I see. Everything in tubes. Except toothpaste, which will come in cans. I see. Let's get, let's get to the, the, the bigger name. All right. I predict that Eddie Fisher will go back to Elizabeth Taylor, and, of course, Richard Burton will go back to Sybil. That's good news for sport lovers everywhere. I <laughs> and I predict a one-shot serum that will cure everything. Where will... <laughs> Where will they give it to you? in the doctor's office. I predict you may have trouble cashing your check. I... <laughs> no, he, what I like about Criswell is you can kid and have such fun and... Uh, how, how, oh, oh. What's the percentage again? 87%. Well, listen, that's better than mine. That's better than mine. Good, night, I, good night, old friend. And I hope they've everyone played a list of it. Oh, and I hope they check it off. Oh, I'm, I'm checking the whole thing off. Because I'm not paying this kind of money for, for, for nonsense. <laughs> Thanks to Alexander King, Helen O'Connell, Bill Cosby, and Criswell predicts for the show this evening.